Hey church, it's great to be with you today as we're pushing forward, we're pushing on in our month of prayer and fasting. And today we're going to pray and press in for our Chester campus. I can't get away from this verse, church, recently. It's from Colossians chapter 1 verse 29 that says this. Paul writes, To this end, I strenuously contend with all of the energy that Christ so powerfully works in me. Contending means to deal with the challenge. And here's the thing, that as we are stepping up and stepping forward, we're going to face challenges in life. But Paul writes here, he's not contending with his own energy, with his own strength, but with the energy that Christ is so powerfully working in him. The reality for all of us is we weren't designed to deal with the challenge, to deal with the breakthrough on our own strength and in our own ability and in our own power, but we were always destined, designed and created to do it and to operate in the full power of the Holy Spirit working through us. If you're not contending for anything in life, if you've got no challenge, then life is smooth sailing. And that's what culture would dictate to us as being the picturesque version of life perhaps, but we weren't designed to live a life that is smooth sailing. As Christians, followers of God, we're building God's kingdom and with that comes challenge. With that, we've got to push through, we've got to push on. It's going to be tough, it's going to be hard. But the good news is we don't do it in our own strength, but in the power, in the energy that Christ works in us and through us. So why do I say all that today? I say all that because we're going to contend for our Chester campus today. Here's some things we're going to contend for as we pray today and as we press into God. First thing is for Sundays, that in Sundays in our services, we would see more transformed lives than ever before. We'd see miracles, we'd see breakthrough, we'd see signs and wonders like we've never seen it. And we're believing that four decisions every single Sunday would become our new normal. As of the time of recording last Sunday, we had four decisions in church. Incredible. But we want to believe that every single Sunday, we wouldn't just see a couple of hands raised in our service, but we'd see four, five and more decisions every week. We're also believing that 250 people on a Sunday would become our new benchmark. Church has grown so much in the last couple of months coming out of pandemic culture and returning back to church and seeing brand new people become part of the family. But we're believing and trusting that we're going to hit a new benchmark of 250 every single week. We also want to press in and pray for our Love Your World days. We do a monthly event in our local community, a community fun day. And the last one we did had 300 people there. We're believing for the same and more as we open up the doors of church, we go into the wild perhaps and put on an epic fun day that as we build relationships and community, people would see the good favour and the good will of church, would come to church and would have an opportunity to experience the good news. We also want to pray for our youth ministry in Chester. Next month we're doing an epic day of missions in our local community. Our youth team are uniting all of the youth groups in the city. They're going to go out together on mission in the local community and they're going to finish with a grand finale encounter night, breakthrough night in our building. And we're believing for hundreds of young people. So let's contend for that as we pray today. A couple more things we're bringing into the city of Chester, one of the first organisations in our area to do so. We're bringing in a refugee family through audacious welcomes and community sponsorship. And we need to contend and pray for favour with the local council, favour in our application, miracles in finances in provision, and that God would open up the right doors in housing in Chester. And that through that we change the history, the future, the legacy of a family. And lastly, I want us to contend and pray for our kids ministry and our young adults ministry in Chester. Specifically that our kids We'd find home in kids ministry like never before. We'd have a city shaking kids ministry and also for our young adults that we'd create the most vibrant, powerful community of young professionals, of young adults in our city. Church, let's believe, let's contend for these things today. I know we're not contending in our own energy, in our own strength, but today as you pray, as you contend, press into the power, the energy of the Holy Spirit 
just like Paul writes, to this end, I contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. Church, let's contend today. Let's believe that there's more miracles ahead. There's more breakthrough ahead. In Jesus' name, amen.